Welcome to Anaheim, California, home of the Mighty Ducks. Thanks for joining us here on the 2K Sports Network. I'm Bob Cole, along with my right-hand man, Harry Neal, and we've got great early season NHL action for you here tonight. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim are one of three teams located in California in the National Hockey League, and their fans have really taken to this team. The Ducks are a defensive-style team that relies number one on its net mining and their net mining has been number one. This is a great team to watch, Bob, as you pointed out. Good goaltending, but they also have one of the fastest teams in the NHL, and that combination means that these guys usually are playing in June. Harry, sometimes we overlook some of the key components to a hockey team and focus on the highlight reel players. But as we all know, there are those players who rise to the occasion, give you the big goal when you need it, or the big stop when you need it. Here's a look at a couple of players who always make a consistent contribution to their team. When you are playing against this guy, you had better bring your A game, because he's going to bring his. And you know what his A game stands for? Aggressive. When you are playing against this guy, you had better bring your A game, because he's going to bring his. And you know what his A game stands for? Aggressive. They're ready at center ice for the drop of the puck. Let's get Anaheim off the faceoff in the neutral zone. He passes it to the left wing. That shot was stopped by the pad. Boucher passes it up the center. There it is, Dallas on the move. He centers it. You have to like this save. You use every part of your body and every piece of equipment. This time, it was the skate that stopped the puck. Shooting! Turco with that pad save. From Boucher to Madano. It goes over to the right side. Jaguer stops that shot, heading for the low right side. Kearney clears the puck. And Dallas has the puck, defensive zone. Morrow over to Lettinen. He sends it up the center. Ripped. Jaguer positioned himself great on the pad save. Crouching down and covering all the net. Across the blue line. He scores. That's the way to come out in your home building. A one nothing lead in front of the whole crowd in the first period of play. Great assist on that play, Bob. Let's just watch the pass. That's an awesome assist he makes, and they expect that kind of play from him. He's the number two man for assists on his team, consistently making those kinds of plays. And we've got the faceoff. Skaters in position. The Ducks have the one goal lead now here in the first period of hockey. They've got a chance now to expand that lead. They are right where they wanted to be. It's into the corner. Garen out in front. Assisted by. He scores! And they come back right away to tie this game. Lots of action here early in the first period tonight. We're going to see on this replay a nice backhand shot. The backhand is the weakest of all shots in hockey, but the goalies have trouble picking it up, coming off the backside of the stick. And Harry, it comes so fast, you're not trying to turn this thing around to the forehand, which would give the goaltender time to react. The backhand doesn't allow him to do that. Here we go with another draw down there on the ice. The Stars have come right back and tied this one up with that goal. And there's a lot of hockey left to play. We've got a fresh game here in the first period. He passes it up the right side. And here come the Ducks with a chance. It's shot. Sakura can't get the shot. Daly plays it up to the center. He passes to the defenseman. Taken across the blue line by the Stars. Stick came up on him. The refs won't let you get away with that too much. From Garen over to Terja. It's fed back to the point. Controlling it in the corner. And Anaheim is able to get it back. And here's a three on two opportunity. Gets it over to the left wing. And the blocker save. Puck deflects away. Garen at center. 
Bob, we've seen this guy do it before, flashing the left pad. You launch a slap shot like that, and you think, I got to get something. All he got was the left pad. Fedorov will be back in the game. They wanted to change up their attacking lines, and they get it. The Ducks have got themselves in a tie game. Both teams on the board early, getting things going here in the first period. Watch making or breaking their play out here tonight. Here's a game where the advantage is really in the intangibles. You can't really look at the numbers in this game and say it's a one-sided battle from either team's perspective. This is one of those games where you watch and wait and see who comes up with the big play or who can capitalize on the other team's mistakes. Zubov hits the puck out center. He brings the puck past the blue line. Jagir stops it. He got the block already. He plays it up to the center. Oh, and there they go. The Ducks on the rush. Shoots. Diving, and still he tries to hit the net. To Madano. And it's control. Center ice. And they get the puck ahead, trying to get a chance here. Oh, and Jagir stops the slap shot with the stick. With the puck at the point by Lettinen. And they're attacking, looking for a chance. Lettinen through the zone. Madano from Lettinen. Over to the point. He scores! And they go ahead here. One goal in the first period. Check out this replay, folks. You do not have to have a great wrist shot when you're this close because it's not about how hard it is, it's where it is. We talk about finding time and space on the ice, Harry. Well, right there, there was just enough time, and unfortunately, from a defensive point of view, there was plenty of space. And we're going to start up action again. The Stars are happy about the go-ahead goal here in the first period. They'd like to keep that lead and expand on it if they can. Then taken into the zone by Dallas. And it's taken along the boards. What a roar here in this building tonight. This crowd trying to generate that one goal needed. And that's all they need to tie it up. Over to Niedermeyer from Chistov. And it deflects up off a player's stick and off. The he scores! And they come back with an answer here in the first. Well, there wasn't a lot of room, but the guy still poked it in on the right side on that wraparound. Gorgeous wraparound there, Harry. The goaltender just wasn't positioned properly. No, he wasn't. And it was a great job by the shooter to recognize that fact and capitalize. It's time to get this game going again. Here's the drop of the puck. The Mighty Ducks have tied up the game here with that goal. It looks like we've got another dandy shaping up tonight. Jigger with that beautiful save, keeping the game tied. Paulson passes the puck to the center. Oh, and there they go, the Ducks on the rush. Boy, you don't think there's been any love poured out to the home team? Listen to this crowd chant. We talk about how you got to believe. This home crowd believes. Garen makes the pass to the defenseman. Taken across the blue line by the Stars. Oh, and here come the Ducks. And he brings it up. Perfectly timed. He got his body in front of that shot, and this game is still even. That was a brilliant save. I think the puck changed directions. Somehow it hit something. Maybe it was deflected, but he still got it with a stick. This concludes the first period as both teams are tied 2-2. Two to two. And you're watching some of the better plays in that first period of play. The Stars have found themselves in a good match here, Harry. The game, score-wise, has been very even so far. What do you think is going on with this team tonight? This game is tied, but I'm still waiting to see their full repertoire on defense, Bob. I think they're holding back a little. And with some approved hitting and more aggressiveness towards loose pucks, there's no reason they won't be the ones to get on the board again next.
The Stars know they have to continue to get scoring chances, especially here in the second period. They know they can score. They also know the opposition can score. We'll see how this second period gets going. Should be interesting. We're ready to start the second period of play here tonight. Taken across the blue line by the Stars. The puck is centered behind the net with the puck. Guerin plays it up to the center. Boucher out at the point. And now the Ducks with it in their own zone. Sent to the left wing. Oh, and there they go. The Ducks in the rush. Shot. And Turco stops it. Going low left side. Nothing doing there. Turgeon skating with it at center. And they've got a three on two chance here. Oh, and it's a goal. It went in off the defensive player, albeit unintentionally. Not one of the best moments for this team. This is a real tough break, Coley, but the goal counts. Boy, you talk about a goalie's nightmare. I mean, there was nothing he could do on the play because, well, it wasn't a predictable shot. You just can't predict that at all. And we've got the faceoff coming up. The Stars get the go-ahead goal. We're watching second period hockey tonight here on the 2K Sports Network. It's a one-goal game right now. Cross the blue line. Federal gets the puck out. That's not a good pass. Dallas trying to get set up again. It's blocked. Great defense to protect on the shot. And here come the Ducks with a chance. Now Anaheim into the zone. It's passed to the point. He shoots. And it deflects off the glass. Madonna gets control of the puck in his own zone. Morrow now controlling the puck. Here they come, and it's three on two. Jaguer holds on. We know Jaguer really thrives on positioning. He's got to be technically pure, square to the shooter. But don't underestimate his glove hand. He can use it quickly when he needs to. The linesman will start the action to the goalie's left. And Anaheim wins the draw in their zone. Kearney manages to get it out of there. This is a good pad save, Bob. I don't think the shooter had much time. You're in the trenches, you know you're going to get hit. He let it rip, but it was right into the pad. Haley over to Turgeon. He passes it to the right wing. Here come the Stars with a chance. And the Ducks pick it up. He feeds the puck to the left wing. And here come the Ducks with a chance. LeClair carries the puck into the corner. And Turco holds on for the save and keeps the one goal lead. Sends it to the defenseman. Daly, under pressure, sends the puck out, but no one can get to it. Watch this one, Bob. Some nice work here on the part of the goalie. He had this one figured out from the beginning. Look at the way he moves right into place to cut off the angle. And a nice stop with that big blocker there to complete the save. Turco camps out at the left side of the goal. Wins the draw, and it was stopped off that left pad. And the Ducks gain possession of the puck. It's shot. Clem sends it to his defenseman, and he's got it in the neutral zone. Here come the Stars with a chance. He scores, and they now have the two-goal lead with that goal here in the second period. He made a great outlet pass on that goal, Bob. Let's take another look at it. Wow, what a play. He saw a split-second opening to get the play started and jumped on it. He's not second and assist on his team for nothing. We'll get back to the action now as the official gets set to drop the puck.
The Stars go ahead two goals now with that last conversion. Two goal lead, second period. Not a bad game they've played here tonight. To Vizhnevsky, penalty called. Play continues until the puck switches hands. And he gets the call for throwing that elbow on the play. He really got hit with an elbow on that play. You can't do that and not get a penalty. You might be able to get away with a little bit of an elbow, but not right in the kisser like that one. Soleil is on the way to the penalty box to serve his first penalty of the evening. And this face-off will be to the goalie's left. There's no quit in this crowd. Listen to the roar that's going up for the hometown team, trailing by two. One thing it says to the guys on the ice is that they have not gotten down on their club. Jaguer makes the big shorthanded save. Federal from Ozilinch. Taken across the blue line by the Ducks. Federal shoots wide on that one. He feeds the puck to the left wing. Morrow holding the puck at center ice. Puck back to the point. Shot. He made a terrific stop on that play. When you're down by a man and you're down by two, you need goaltending like that. He passes to the defenseman. And Anaheim gets to it and clears out of the zone. Turco sends it up to the center. Controlled at center. Puck over to the right wing. Oh, and a chance for Dallas now. Over to Zuba from Garen. Garen fires it out under pressure, but no one's going to get there. Over to Morrow. He's got that puck at the point. And Jaguer makes the save, and the penalty continues. The Mighty Ducks get it out of their zone, and it's cleared. Penalty still in effect, though. And both teams are now at even strength. Five on five. He brings it past the blue line. That shot off the left pad. Gets it over to the left wing. And they're getting away. It's two on two. He's got it in the corner. Close to slashing there. Got to watch that stick. Zubov takes the puck through the zone. And here's the three-on-two rush. Bob, he did just enough to deflect the puck away by using that left pad. To Niedemeyer from Federal. Turco passes to the defenseman. From Boucher to Swoboda. Oh, and there they go, the Stars on the rush. He makes a centering pass. Through the zone with that puck. Fedorov has control and it's going to be two on two. And he really got him with the stick. He won't be too happy about that one. Over to the point. Vishnevsky against the boards with the puck. Vishnevsky fires it out under pressure, but no one's there to get it. Burns holding the puck in the neutral zone. Saleh drops to his knees to block the shot. Jaguer over to Saleh. From Saleh. Here they come, three on two. Zubov. Boucher from Zubov. He's controlling the puck at center ice. And that's the end of the second period. We've got a score of four to two. And we've got the highlights from period number two running. Nice to see some of the better plays made tonight. The Ducks are just getting dominated so far here tonight, Harry. Why are we seeing, do you think, such a blow? What do you think is the main contributing factor in this poor performance? They may be down, but you can tell they've not given up yet. Their perseverance and output on defense tonight is something to be admired. Even if the final score does not end up in their favor, they can at least be proud of their effort. The Stars skating back out now for this third period of hockey. And this is right where they want it to be. The coach is happy with what he's seeing, I know. And I doubt he had much to say in the locker room. Just keep it going, guys. They're at center ice, waiting for the drop of the puck. Ducks win the draw down by two. And now the Stars with it in their own zone. Ladano, center ice. Over to Lettinen. Here's the odd man, three on two. Tomorrow, on Lettinen. It's blocked. Oh, what a terrific play. He dropped down to the ice on his knees to make the play. Chistov through the zone with the puck. He 
scores. He's got three tonight, folks. And the fans here at home are letting him know that they are keeping track of those goals tonight. And next week, you'll be able to buy these hats at half price at the local sports stores. Great tradition in the National Hockey League. And that's exactly what happens. Trick of the hats on the ice. Looks like they're ready down there to get things going again. The Mighty Ducks have reduced that two-goal deficit down to one. And that is not an easy task in the third. When you've got a two-goal differential in the third period, the other team has been playing pretty good defense. Now, a chance to get this thing tied up if they can do it one more time. Federoff taking his first penalty box visit on the night. Ready for the faceoff. Anaheim penalty number 91. Sergey Federer. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty. Two. And the faceoff is won by Anaheim. It goes to the defenseman. Zubov has it at center ice. Oh, and there they go. The stars on the rush. Jaguer passes to the defenseman. And it's controlled at center. And now the Stars get it back through the zone. He sends it up the center. Oh, and here come the Stars. Over in the corner. He passes it to the left wing. Morrow in the corner. Niedermeyer disrupts that feed up the left wing, picking it off. Sakura in the neutral zone. He scores. They tie the game. for this guy. A well-earned goal right there. Not many players can make the move he did on that play. He's an offensive threat for sure. Tie game here in the third. Teams ready for the drop of the puck. Clem hits the puck out center. From Turgeon, Jaguer stops the shot. The power play continues. Lettinen has it in the slot. Clem to the Lettinen. Jaguer with a shorthanded save. Now the Stars get it back. Sent to the left wing. And they have it at center ice. Oh, and a chance for Anaheim now. From Federal over to Niedermeyer. And Turco shuts down that play with a poke check. Fires it back. Turco makes a nice pad save. Burns has the puck through the zone to the point. It's shot to Niedermeyer. Past the blue line. Third. Oh, and the puck drills a post over to the left wing. And here come the Stars. Niedermeyer knocks the puck to the center. Federov with it now, two on two from Federov. Man, this is frustrating for the shooter. On a one-timer, you're really not aiming. You just want to get velocity on the shot. He did, but he got robbed by the right pad. And he shoots, and he stops it with the right pad. Along the boards with that puck. He shoots. Oh, and Turco with a great stop. The shot headed bottom right. Turco poke checks the puck away. Guerin and his offensive line coming now as they get some fresh skaters out there, changing out their forwards. Up through the zone. Daly plays it up to the center. Over to Madano from Daly. Oh, and here come the Stars. Rip. Jaguer stops it. Over to Ruchin. They shoot again. And Jaguer saves it. His pad helping him to stop it. The 
puck gets sent to the center. And here come the Ducks with a chance. It's shot. The shooter wanted to go to the right side low, but the goalie sealed that right off. The Stars wanted to make a line change with their forwards. They get a chance to do it now. Kearney with the pass up the center. He shoots. It hits hard off the defense. To Zubov. Bob Turco from Zubov. Oh, and there they go. The Stars on the rush. Turgeon over to Guerin. To the middle. You want to silence the crowd? Get a hat trick on their ice. This guy is playing on the road, and he's gunning for a hat trick away from home. From Leclerc over to Sakura. The puck has hit up the boards on the left side. Oh, and here come the Stars. Garen can't get the shot on goal. Turgeon is in the corner. The one-timer hits a defender. The puck is hit up the right side. To Leclerc. Oh, and here they come. It's a three on two. Zubov held along the boards. Garen passes it. Up the center, taken across the blue line by the Stars. It goes to the point. In the corner, it hits a defender. He was the goalie's best friend on this play. He stopped the shot from even getting through. A good shot clock. He decides to center the puck. Leclerc along the boards. Long pass broken up by Boucher. Well, the third period is over, and both teams are going to the locker room successful so far. It's a tie game. And we've got some dandy highlights now playing from the third period. Oh, it's turned out to be a great game. The Stars have overtime hockey coming up. How do you see, Harry, their performance here tonight? Bob, it's all about discipline for these guys. And what more important time of the game to have terrific discipline than overtime? I don't think there's a more important time. If the overtime period is approached with the same discipline, these guys have played all night. They should have a great chance of winning. The Mighty Ducks look to be pumped and ready for this overtime period. They want to put this thing away early. They've got to be careful, though. The coach wants to start out with some conservative hockey in the overtime period. And we are ready for OT. The face-off won by the Stars. Now Anaheim's got it. Federov, the Mosel Lynch. Federov with it at center. Oh, and a chance for Anaheim now. The defense stops the shot attempt. Over to Guerin from Boucher. Over to McDonald. And the Ducks pick it up. Back to the point. Zubov holds the puck at center ice. And the Ducks regain possession. To Ruchin from Fedorov. And here come the Ducks with a chance. They block it. And now the Stars with it in their own zone. Two minutes left in the period. Shooting. Excellent defense to block the shot. Coaches love those goalies that come through in the clutch. And that's exactly what this guy's doing. What an overtime save. Jaguar is getting some acknowledgement in the form of a chant from the fans here, Harry. They can credit this tie game to his performance in goal. He's with the puck at center ice. From Zubov to Boucher. One on one now. Jaguar holding down the fort in this tie game. We're headed to a shootout to decide this one. Madonna up first in the shootout for his team. Now he's skating in. The shot. Stop. And no shootout goals yet. Sakura up first in the shootout. All right now. Here it is. They score. And went off the bottom and into the net. Guerin on second now. Skating in. Holy getting set. And the score is still one to nothing. Chistov up second for his team in the shootout. Now this is a must-stop situation. He stops that one. Lettinen is up third for his club. It's as simple as this, folks. He has got to score. 
It's shot, and he stops the shootout try. The Ducks take the win with a shootout victory. Well, Harry, we were witness to an exciting finish for quite a game. The third star of the game, number 39, Peter Sikora. The second star of the game, number 44, Jason Arnett. And that's going to do it for this one. On behalf of Harry Neal and all of our crew, I'm Bob Cole. Hope you enjoyed it. The National Hockey League on the 2K Sports Network. Lots more to come your way. And we'll catch you next time. Good night, everybody.